In 2009, fires destroyed nearly 400,000 homes, killing 2,600 people in the United States alone. Thanks to sculptor Patricia Billings of Kansas City, Missouri, that statistic may be close to zero in the near future. In her search for a stronger sculpting plaster, Billings experimented in her basement for 12 years until she had created a plaster that was not only indestructible, but fireproof as well. The Clinton, Missouri native has been awarded eight patents for her unique chemical recipe. It is a non-toxic, indestructible, and completely fireproof material with limitless applications due to its special properties and ease of use. Builders even credit the material as the first viable replacement for asbestos and believe that firecrete could completely revolutionize the construction industry. My background is all in medicine and art. I'm not at all in the construction field. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> well, when Pat was younger, she worked in the medical field and she worked in hospitals. And she was privy to dealing with house burn patients in the emergency rooms. And she remembered the sights of uh, the patients, the sounds of the patients, the smells of, of, of burning flesh and clothes and those kind of things. When she was treating them and realized the hard recovery time that it would take to make these people well again. And she always remembered that and she always talked about that. And because it affected her so, and has been with her for such a long, long time. That was one of the reasons that she started working on the product, her invention, to save lives. It's always been about saving lives. Uh, she has always felt that there's no reason for anyone to die in a house fire if you have a safe, fireproof house. I invented uh, Geobond, of course, and that was my first invention had a lot of publicity with it and a lot of, uh, a lot of people interested in it. I created Geobond because I broke a statue that I was really fond of and it made me so mad that I decided that I would put together some ingredients that wouldn't break when we cast a, uh, uh, an art piece. Back, you know, when they wore button shoes and I started in doing that, uh, you could only create one piece. And if you broke it, it was too bad. It was over, it was gone. And so we very definitely needed a stronger material to cast pieces of art. What uh, occurred though was that the FDA made some new regulations for chemicals that were sold. And the one material that I had to have in my catalyst for Geobon, they took off the market. So that sort of took Geobond off the market because I could not make the catalyst anymore. And so the company had no catalyst and no business at all. Pat is very driven when it comes to her product. Uh, over the 20 years that I've known her, I remember initially, and I knew nothing about it at all, uh, she would be in her lab and she'd make little rocks. And if it floated, she was happy. And if it sunk, she was very upset. So it went from little rocks to cubes to pieces to molding things uh, and testing and testing and testing to get it right you know, to get it right, to make sure that if her name is on it and if it represents her, it has to be right. So I decided, since I was just 80, I would not quit yet and, uh, and I felt good and didn't know what I was gonna do with my time if I didn't do something else. So I started in on the same laboratory that I invented Geobond in and put together six products which really did cover the products that were currently, I thought, very well, not well done. President asked Miss 
to do a study on why both of the towers fell. And so I was asked to participate in that and it was a two to three year study and we did that for two or three years and studied all of the things of why it did not survive the attack. The day that we were through and we were uh, seeing, you know, well, what caused the problem and so forth and so on. And then one of the head people on fire called me over and said, Pat, you now know what your work is for you, <laughs> to you know, what's cut out for you to do. You need to correct a, and, and invent a fireproof drywall and you need to put together a new insulation for steel. And then come back and tell us. <laughs> and so I now have both of those products and I'm ready to go back and sit down with Dr. Sunder and tell him about what we have now that would work for any buildings in the future. She's in a, a textbook, science textbook for college students. Uh, she was in the Wall Street Journal. She was in Reader's Digest. They did an article on her in People Magazine. Um, she is on the board of the American Women's uh, Museum, and she got Inventor of the Year from them. That was presented in Phoenix, Arizona. And she got her award when they awarded uh, the five women who were in charge of Arizona at the time at a luncheon that was phenomenal. So uh, she's gotten quite a few accolades. She's very, very proud of. I put together six products because I knew after 12 years with Giovon, I knew what products were on the market uh, that shouldn't have been, that didn't work and didn't, didn't do what I thought they should do. The firewall that was available was four and a half to six and a half inches thick. Our product is two inches thick, costs $1.93 a square foot. The other one costs six sixty dollars a square foot and is very heavy. So we needed a, an easy, a lightweight, inexpensive material because both of the, the old and the, my new, it's a two hour fire safety rating. So why would you use one at 660 when you could use one at at a dollar 93 and they both give you a two hour fire rate. This is a product called FireTherm A and this is the le the least expensive one of our in of our insulations and uh, it uh, will give you an R4 uh, for an R value and uh, it is uh, has already passed a burn test of four hours at 2,000 degrees. The most important product that I've invented in, in the new materials is a product called Fire Therm. That is the insulation that we have, which is totally fireproof, moisture resistant, very inexpensive, and it's non-toxic. There's no toxicity about it. No fumes that are toxic. And, and you have, when you put 2,000 degrees of fire on the surface of that material, you get uh, no flame and no smoke. Zero flame, zero smoke after four hours of 2,000 degrees on the surface of the material. That means that if you have this material, inside the walls of, of the house or the commercial building and you have a fire, you cannot have any extended uh, flame added from the uh, new insulation, which you will have on the old insulation. It adds to the fire and is very toxic with fumes. So we have no toxic fumes and no additional addition to the fire. And it is very, very inexpensive and very lightweight and very water resistant. You know, all of the buildings that are already built are not going to be fireproof unless you, you have a coating material 
that will be able to coat the interior and the ceiling and so forth of your in the, in the exterior and the interior of uh, that pre-built building and then you won't have any fires at all. And so I had, I, I created a, a product called Beta Burn Safe. I made a big name because I didn't want anybody to forget about it once they heard about it. Because Beta Burn Safe can be sprayed because there are no aggregates in it. It makes it very inexpensive and very easy to use. You can almost paint, you almost spray it like paint. And you put a half an inch of this material on old drywall and you have a two hour fire safety rating for your insurance company and your own safety. The specific uses for my product are insulation, drywall, roof tiles, coatings for interior and exterior walls, concrete, flooring, and pre-built homes. The comparison of my products in comparison to the products available from other companies are, mine is fireproof, theirs is not. Mine is moisture resistant, theirs is not. Mine is non-toxic, theirs is not. Mine is lightweight, theirs is not. Mine is low cost, theirs is not. Mine is very, very safe for the builder to use and is very easy to install. Everybody keeps asking me when or why I don't retire. I can't retire as yet because I haven't finished my mission. I worked for 25 years as a medical technician being sent to the burn wards of each of the, one of the hospitals that I worked for. I cannot tell you what an effect that makes when you are close to and see people who have been burned and particularly children every day that you work. And it certainly made a big impression on me. And when I found out that I could make materials for homes and commercial buildings, which would not allow a fire to even happen, I had I'd formed a mission. And until I have completed that mission, I, I cannot quit work. And we, 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 all of the products that I have have been put together for that reason. It doesn't do any good to have a product that's fireproof and will work to fireproof a building if it's so expensive that nobody can buy it. So I have been very, very consistent about pricing on our materials because I want everybody to be able to afford it. And that's the reason why that cost is extremely important. When she first started on this road, there was no deterring her to get this done. It was not even a question that she would ever stop until she got this right. This has been her mission in life. This has been her dream. And finally, uh, we are at the fruition of her dream. And I'm very proud of her for that. And all the people in her life, all of her friends, are very proud of her for that because we've all been in her life during this whole process. But there was never any question at all that she would ever stop until she got it done. And at 84, it's done. <laughs>